Hi guys, so uh, I want to make a little series about raising meat chickens. Okay, and we're going to specifically do the Cornish cross variety because they're the fastest growing and you'll see as we go, uh, man, they grow fast. They're like eight weeks and they're done. So sometimes less, uh, depending on what you how you feed them. But, uh, but what I want to do is this is my, my fourth time raising uh, Cornish cross uh, meat birds. And uh, so I've done it a couple times, by no means I'm a, an expert at this, but that's okay. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll do the best we can along the way. Uh, but we're gonna raise them more organic. Uh, so they're gonna get organic feed and, that, and they're gonna be on pasture as much as, we can, as I uh, can arrange it. So uh, we're gonna try to do a regenerative style um raising of these Cornish cross meat birds here so we can get the best quality all right but we're, what are we going to do with this video series I'm going to show you how do you do this thing okay where do you buy the chicks um what feed should you use and that sort of thing okay so we're gonna we're gonna learn about like how to actually do it but we're also going to do the numbers so we're going to figure out how much does it cost how much, maybe how much time and effort is there? Um, I know time may not be an expense for everybody. It's not an expense for me. My time's worthless, but uh, just kidding. Um, but uh, but I'll, I'll try to put some of that in there. But, but we will keep careful track of all the financials to see uh, at the end of this, when we ha get a harvest, what is our per pound price? I'm not sure if we're going to divide it up. Yeah, maybe we will. We'll divide it up into like, uh, per pound for quarters, per pound for breast meat, per pound for um, wings, whatever. Okay, so we may we may try to um, tease all those numbers out so we can really get an accurate uh, measure of what raising organic pastured um, Cornish cross meat birds, meat uh, chickens might might cost. Because here's the thing in Florida here, there's about one place where you can get organic chicken and it's about nine dollars a pound uh and you got like one jar <laughs> one container of it so uh that's just not good enough so um so we're gonna do another batch here so let me show you this uh thing real quick and hang on tight here comes the spin okay so this is the invoice i ordered the chickens already um and this is my second time using the chick hatchery the first two times I used, um, uh, I went through tractor supply, uh, which I guess is fine, but I had some uh, of the chickens die. Um, and the first two batches I did, I only did, I did 12 or something in a batch. And first time four died, the second time uh, two or three died. Um, and I just, I don't know, I didn't really like that system. So I tried the chick hatchery and I ordered 25 from them because they're, that's their minimum and 25 survived. So uh, there were, there was no dead loss. So I, 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 you know, small sample size here, but I think they have a good setup so far. So this time we ordered the we, I say I, okay. I ordered the Cornish cross broiler. That's what they're called. I ordered female. Okay, you can get them mixed. You can get all male. You can get just female. Um, I like the females because they don't grow quite so ridiculously fast. Um, and you might think, well, why would you want them not to grow ridiculously fast? Well, um, for one thing, if you have them mixed, the males will grow earlier um, and they'll be done at like seven weeks and your females might take nine or something. So, uh, and maybe the smaller females get pushed out of the way at the feeding troughs or whatever. So, um, uh, so I prefer the females and they can grow a little slower and, um, and uh, it's a little bit more controllable, but you know, uh, that's just my preference. So you may have a different one that's fine too. Uh, I may try all mail next time. Who knows? Okay, so I ordered 50 because I'm like, go big or go home. I know that's not big to a lot of you guys, but that's big for me in my little tiny backyard. Okay, and this is my total price. 
uh, $85. So that is with uh, shipping and um, taxes and everything. So that way you could figure out your per chick price here, 50 chicks, $85, okay? So I felt like that the females are the cheapest um on the on the site i think i think they're the cheapest yeah but um and also uh what what a price that is that's that's less than two dollars um a bird here so we'll see how that teases out okay so what are we going to look at next um we'll probably look at the setup of the brooder because they are going to need a brooder for at least a couple weeks even though florida weather is pretty warm already um so we're going to look at that we're going to look at the feed um cost the feed cost uh because that is the main driver to your cost for raising these guys uh we're going to look at supplements i am going to supplement mine as much as i can with um scraps because that is free free um free feed because they, they're 50 birds are going to eat a lot of chicken feed uh we're going to look at the bedding i'm just using some horse uh medium horse bedding um because it's readily available and it's pretty cheap so i, I might look into hay or some other things but um we'll see about uh bedding um we'll also take a look at things like the equipment okay so uh i already have most of the equipment, or if not all of the equipment that I'm going to use, because um, I'm reusing them, because I've used them for, uh, every every chicken run. So that might be some heat lamps. Uh, it might be waterers and feeders. Um, uh, none of those are particularly expensive, uh, especially if you're going to do it repeated, because you get to amortize that over uh, several batches of chickens. So, um, so I may do a side calculation for that. So if you wanted to add that, you could figure it out, um, but I probably won't include that in my total since they're reuse, reused. So, okay, so that's what we're gonna do. 50 chickens are on their way. It says week of um, May 17th is their hatch week. So they should get here soon after that. And um, maybe I'll make a little video and I pick them up from the post office. Yeah, they send them to the post office. You pick them up at the local post office. Pretty cool. Okay, guys. Thanks.